Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? Please like and subscribe. Quantum physics is the branch of physics that deals with matter and energy at a microscopic scale of atoms and molecules. First things first, quantization. Quantization uh, occurs within quantum physics whereby momentum and energy occur in discrete packets called quanta as discovered by Max Planck. So this is different from classical physics where energy is continuous. So in quantum physics, we've got gaps in energy. Equations. Huh. Let's look at this equation. So this equation is called the time-independent Schrodinger equation. So in this time-independent Schrodinger equation, we have i h bar d partial over dt kit psi of t equal to the operator h kit psi of t whereby i is the imaginary unit um and psi of t is the uh, state of the wave function. Uh, h hat is the operator h and d partial over dt is the partial derivative with respect to time which is going to be applied to the ket of psi of t, right? Because we use bracket notation, which is direct notation, which was formulated by the scientist Paul Dirac. Now, we are going to look at this further. Hmm. I'm going to break backtrack a little bit um, and leave this equation and go back to the simpler things that I explained earlier, right? So we have quantization and after quantization, we have the uncertainty principle. So the uncertainty principle states that we have a fundamental limit to how much information we can know simultaneously about the position and the momentum of a particle at a given time within the system. So huh, let's get to the equation. So this equation looks like this. Delta X uh, dot delta P greater than or equal to uh, H bar divided by two. What does that mean? Okay, so that's the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, right? And another thing that we have to look at when we um, consider, um, okay, let me just explain the Heisenberg uncertainty principle a little further. Delta X is the uncertainty within the position. Delta P is the uncertainty within the momentum. H bar is the reduced Planck constant. Okay, now, Let's get back to this. Um, besides quantization and the uncertainty principle, we have to know about quantum superposition and entanglement. Okay, so when it comes to quantum superposition, um, you can look at the thought experiment in which um, you have a cat that is both dead and alive. So the cat is both dead and alive until you perform a measurement on the system that's when it takes a defined um, defined value of whether dead or alive when you open the box and you check is the cat dead or is it alive okay so quantum superposition means that particles within a quantum system can exist in multiple states at the same time um, simultaneously until they are measured and then we look at uh, entanglement entanglement is the technology is the is the um, phenomenon that has allowed us to create technology such as quantum computing in entanglement 
one state of two particles that are entangled determines the state of the other particle. If one particle is within an up state, then the other particle is definitely within a down state. Albert Einstein dis, uh, described quantum entanglement as spooky action at a distance because you could have um, one particle at one end of a galaxy and the other particle at the other end of the galaxy. If the particle at the other end is in an up state, then this means that the other one is going to be in a down state. And this happens um, at a speed that is faster than the speed of light. This happens instantaneously. So this is instantaneous transmission of information. It is like teleportation. It's like appearing at one point and then like appearing at the other point. It's like, yeah, the stuff that you see in the movies, right? Sci-fi, teleportation, right? Um, how oh, where I leave out? So I covered, uh, I covered quantization. I covered the uncertainty principle. I looked at quantum superposition. And then I looked at, uh, oh boy, 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 Okay, so wave particle duality. Yeah. Um, wave particle duality is what I haven't discussed. Wave particle duality, you have um, particles and you shoot them at a wall and they pass a double slit. But when they hit the wall, they exhibit interference phenomena, which is um, exhibited by waves. So what this means is that they act... Uh, the particles, uh, electrons, photons, they act as waves and they also act as particles. And that's what we see from wave particle duality. So, yeah, now we've covered a lot of that. Now, let me get to another equation, right? Um, so we did two equations. We did the Schrodinger equation, which is time independent. We did the uncertainty uh, principle. We didn't do the Schrodinger equation, which is time dependent. So when you have a Schrodinger equation, which is time dependent, you have uh, E cat psi equals H hat cat psi. And you notice I didn't say psi of T because it's time independent. We don't use T here. E is going to be the energy eigenvalue of the system and psi is going to be the state of the system um and yeah now let's cover two other equations i'm going to cover the wave function the wave function is going to be taken as the integral from negative infinity until positive infinity of the ket of psi of t dx and this is going to be equal to one it is going to be equal to one, and we're looking at the probability amplitude of finding an, a, a particle within a particular space. What this means is that we performed normalization to the equation. That's why we get one. So this uh, wave function, I'm going to be more specific, is going to be um, uh, the position wave function. And this leads me to the next equation, which is this equation. So this wave function is what we know as the momentum uh, space wave function, right? Or the momentum wave function. What this means is I'm going to have psi of psi of P. So it's a function of momentum, psi of P is equal to, and this is interesting, this is going to be equal to 1 divided by the square root of 2 pi h, and in front of that we have the integral from negative infinity until positive infinity of the, uh, of the cat of um of uh psi of x um and that is going to be multiplied with 
e to the power i p x divided by h bar and we'll take that part of the equation and then we put it within dx within our integral right okay so we have this side of the equation and that's the momentum space wave function then we have this side of the equation which is the position space wave function cool pretty cool so yeah i think this these equations are, are pretty cool uh, mm, yeah so i guess that's uh quantum physics um please like and subscribe thank you